Dear friends, welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial. This is Nick from Educates.tv and today I am going to show you how to connect to your Raspberry Pi remotely using Remote Desktop on Windows. And let's start! If you want to make some serious work on the Raspberry Pi, like writing code or even a simple document, you have to connect a keyboard, a mouse and a display to it. This option is not very tempting because it is time consuming. Another option I showed you some time ago is to connect to your Raspberry Pi using SSH remotely, but you have to use the command line only. Again, this option is not very tempting for everyday use. Luckily, there is another option to use remote desktop and connect to the Raspberry Pi from your computer and have the standard graphical user interface of the Raspberry Pi. Your Raspberry Pi desktop UI will live in a window and you will be able to use your PC and the Raspberry Pi at the same time. Cool, let's now see how to achieve that. I am going to use the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus today, but this procedure works on any Raspberry Pi port. I made a French install of the Raspbian OS on my Raspberry Pi. Now we have to update the system. Open the terminal and type the following two commands. sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. These commands will update the software of the Raspberry Pi to the latest version. Now all we have to do is to run three more commands and we are ready. sudo apt-get install xrdp and sudo apt-get install tight VNC server. After a couple of minutes, all the needed software is installed and we are ready to use the Raspberry Pi from the desktop computer. All we have to do now is to note down the local IP address of the Raspberry Pi. One way to find the IP address is to type the command ifconfig in the terminal. That's it. That is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi on my local network. Now let's go to the desktop computer. I am using Windows 10, but this procedure works on other operating systems as well. You just need to use the right software. In Windows 10, we just run the built-in remote desktop connection app. We enter the local IP address of the Raspberry Pi, we press connect and we are connected to the Raspberry Pi. All we have to do now is to log into it. I am using the default username and password, username Pi and password Raspberry. After a few seconds, the Raspberry Pi desktop appears. Cool, we can navigate around and use it just like we were connected physically to it. The cool thing is that I can quickly return to my Windows desktop, work on something and get back to the Raspberry Pi. For best results, connect the Raspberry Pi to the network using an Ethernet cable and not with Wi-Fi. This way, the speed of the remote desktop connection will be good enough to use it for serious work. I am using this feature all the time when I need to work on the Raspberry Pi and I hope that you find it useful as well. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, I'll see you next time!